What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we're here at AN Collision to come check out the status on the Lexus. Um, I'll show you guys and I'll give you a quick story on what's happening with the Lexus so far. Alright guys, so it's actually in the booth. And they have primered some of the, the bad spots that the, that the car had, a couple of dents. So about five or six months ago, at work, someone, like an older gentleman, backed up into the car. And he did like a pretty decent dent over here on the, on the passenger side door. And, uh, and you know, I kind of like put it off for a couple months and I finally brought it to the body shop. And then, uh, you know, they kind of says like, hey, we got to, you know, we got to paint this door. The passenger door and then both fenders so we could kind of blend in the paint and then i'm like hey man you know i really want the, the front and the back bumper you know done because they're they're full of rock chips so um you know what turned into a simple door kind of side just became the whole car you know i plan on keeping the, the car for a while i i really i really do really enjoy the the gs i uh, want eventually i want to go uh, i want to go single and i want to have like a decent solid i want to say 700 horsepower you know, with a, like a ATF built auto, um, you know, something decent, not crazy, but that I can enjoy, you know, and, and drive around on, on a daily basis, to be honest. Um, so I want it, I want it done right. The car is original pro white. I mean, I can see it through here. And then it got resprayed with the, with the Toyota, with the Toyota 040, uh, which is like that regular white. And I actually like the, the, the plain white better than the, the pearl white. The pearl white, I feel like it, it kind of gets ugly over time. So I'm actually gonna have it resprayed all 040. We're gonna do the door jams. Um, and these guys are doing all, everything good, like even around the sunroof. Um, they took all the molds off. They, that's what thing they said, like these cars, they have like little mold pieces and clips everywhere. I'll show you guys now, I was just, just looking at the parts of them. Um, they're gonna take out the trunk. I shaved up all the emblems off. Uh, we're doing all new seals on the glass. Uh, even, on the, in here, on here, this looked tacky every time I took out the, the gas cap to open up to put gas. Uh, it was just kind of like a cheap make or paint job. You know, the guy that I bought the car from, I, just, I think he just kind of did it, you know, did like a quick swap and, and maybe like a fixer upper, you know, paint job to just kind of, you know, kind of move the car. Um, but yeah, let me go outside and, uh, and show you guys the doors and, and the bumpers and stuff. So after looking around, uh, D Young, I believe his name is on Instagram. He's got that freaking badass white GS300. I got the back bumper here. Not touching it, but I want to do this piece right here, like how he has it in black. I think that looks that looks very nice and it gives it a nice contrast. These are some of the bottom side skirt pieces over here. Uh, this is the, the lip that's getting painted. Um, there's also a little trunk lip in here. It's in there somewhere. And over here, You have the doors. Again, they all, like, you know, very nice stuff. The, all these doors are like a two-piece, so they have to, you know, block it off here and then paint the border black. They're gonna do all that stuff, and you see it has all these moldings out here with all these clips. You have one, two, three, and then the other door outside that they actually repaired. I thought I was gonna have to get it replaced, remove the skin, but they were actually <clears throat> they were not actually uh, able to fix the door or repair it. These are another pieces. This is the other back door over here. It's the driver's side door. Um, here's the door that they repaired. There's the passenger door. And it actually looks, looks pretty good, nice and smooth. Yeah, it looks pretty good. But as you guys can see, look at how many clips and little molding this car has just all over the place. Okay. 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 Molding on here. The front bumper, I had the, the side marker shaved off. I think it looks cleaner without them. Um, but yeah, guys, I'm going to be putting clips together and then I don't want to do like a whole, you know, hey, you know, it's painted now, and then I'm gonna pick it up that it's not actually uh, painted. We'll have the, the finished product on the video. 
so you guys kind of see everything together. Uh, all right. Crazy the amount of prep work it takes to paint a car to do it right, of course. Hey guys welcome back so from the last clip i'm sure you saw the the actual shade of the car is actually dark so over the time i actually had you know my little crazy idea of contemplating of uh respraying the, the lexus anthracite to match the, the supra you know that monkey shaped round that everybody calls it um guys i i always been a huge fan of anthracite it's you know if and if nobody's seen it in person you know, it's dark when you see it, and then when you see it in the sun, it pops out really different. I love the color. The Lexus, I was never really a fan of the white. That's why I was always, you know, not too, like, crazy about it. But uh, I resprayed the whole car, and I had the opportunity. You know, my, my painter, he, he he said, you know, hey, let's do it. I'm good with it. So, you know, the price was right. It was my, with my budget. So we went ahead and did it. I hope you guys enjoy it. I mean, I, I love it. I seen the car. I've been going to the, you know to the body shop, you know at least once a, once a week. This was uh, probably like over a five month uh, period of time because of the whole 
shortage of staff and you know and whatnot it took them a longer than expected but you know the final product is you know it's just crazy and we're gonna see it uh we're actually gonna go see it today he just called me that the car's ready to be picked up um so guys for uh just uh oh yeah my i'm sorry my, my wife doesn't know about it you know i haven't i've been trying to keep it as secret as possible i haven't put it on instagram on, on social media or anything so this is actually just gonna be you know like you know just kind of like the you know just for everybody to see I want everybody, you know, everybody to give their opinion if they're white, you know, hey, why'd you respray the color? But uh, I think it probably might be the first one ever, uh, Lexus wise, that might be resprayed uh, anthracite. I haven't seen one. I've seen a closed color. They come in graphite gray, but uh, never anthracite. So, um, so yeah, guys, I hope you enjoy it. And, and let me know what you guys think in the comments below. All right, guys, first drive home on this uh, freshly painted GS300. Man, I, I miss this thing. If anybody's ever uh, had one of these turbo, man, you know you, you would understand how nice they drive. I mean, the guys cleaned it. They try to clean it up as much as they could. I know it's remember this thing had like no glass or nothing, so it's still kind of dirty for at least for me. So I want to give it a nice little detail when I get home. All right, guys, here's the final product. New TTE lip. New headlights. I like the simple headlights, no projector, just a simple black housing in the back. New windshield, the one that originally was in the car was all like scratched up. I guess the previous owner used the wipers with no water or just had an obsession with leaving the wipers on. <clears throat> all these uh, moldings down here, all replaced by new. Replace the door handle, the one I had was broken. Let's see. Delete all the emblems out. With the little black strap inside the, the rear bumper. Yeah. I got the little I got the little chunk support I'm gonna put on. See how it looks. Doesn't look too plain. So yeah, guys. Oh, uh, most biggest touch that I like the most. Shaved off the side marker light. Yeah, I, I think uh, the GS here, the space for the front bumper is so little that that light there just looked like a little extra. I did not do the fender one. I left it plain. I think uh, in this case simple looks looks better uh the grill we painted the, the toyota emblem and entry side as well to match <clears throat> it's all fully painted no wraps did all the door jams this guy's covered everything nicely engine bay is the only one that has oh here inside of there too there's no white in there We did all these, these in here, the moldings. The only white part was the hood, the engine bay. And we uh, so only this part you saw. We have the fenders all painted all around. They went ahead and did the 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 cover for me, the fuse box cover and the computer cover. I still got to clean it up. It's all dirty probably do that now but uh yeah when uh, the next step is probably to pull the motor out well you know eventually near future gonna pull the motor out clean it up nice get rid of the twins and then i'll respray the the white but yeah guys uh super happy overall just waiting for the wife to come from from work so she can look at it just want to see her face because she wasn't she wasn't expecting i kind of hinted to her that I, that I was gonna paint it and she was totally against it so I said, no, no, forget it. So I will see what she says. See what she says, but really, really happy how this thing came out. Got the new fog lights inside. Yeah, this thing looks completely different, man. What? What's that? 
You like it? What do you think? It's cool? What do you think, Papa? Hey, what do you think? You like it? Look, <laughs> give it a kiss. Oh, careful, careful. You like it? What do you think? Tell us about this. Huh? Tell us about this. My car. That's your car? Yes. <laughs> so the super is mine? No. Bobby Yeller. <laughs> The super is mine. No, and the Lexus is yours. Car. So which which was mommy's car? Look. Pia, Pia, Pia. Yeah? Did you notice yeah. the lights? Who gets the dash? Is it really good? No, it's the black housing. It's all the lid. No, you haven't noticed. The Androside Toyota emblem. And you told me it's, not, it's no longer Lexus. That's right. So what do you think? You approve? You're welcome. <laughs> Windshield. The lights off. Yep, the engine bay now. <laughs> we did that already. We pulled the motor. Yeah, right. We put the single turbo on there. Coming. You want to see the single turbo? Mm -hmm. Yeah! Yeah! She hasn't seen the biggest surprise yet. She doesn't know why it took so long. You ready? Ready. Hold on, hold on. Stop. Ready? Nah. You're not that crazy. You're not crazy. Tell Bobby, you're not that crazy. But what they did, well, I just gotta clean up. They paint that. And that, and that, and that. Don't touch this hot puppy. Cars. I know you need to paint down the side. <clears throat> Still have no cars. Yeah, engine. but once we pull the motor out. That car engine. Car yeah, engine. engine. Yeah, it's the engine. What is this? Look. The yeah, what? they're they're, they're hidden in there. Right here. Right here. No, you can't see the turbo, Bobby. Look, I hear. I hear. What's that? Turbo? Yep. Yeah. yeah. Good job. All right, guys. So there you have it. Wife is happy. Wife approves of it. She likes it. That's a that's a plus. I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and uh and detail the crap out of this thing because it's like I said they they try but it's still not dirty to to my taste. Um, so yeah guys, I I hope you guys like the change. I I'm ecstatic. I I love it. I always had a thing for anthracite. I said it man. It's it's uh it's just the color man. It's just just does it for me. The white it was okay. When I was looking for a GS, the first time I was actually looking for a sport design that that graphite uh, brown color looking, the um, and I, I was actually gonna buy one from Larry from Dragon International and he sold it right before, so you know that didn't happen. Then this one came about, obviously it was a lot cheaper, um, but uh, but yeah, I'm kind of glad you know it worked out this way. You know, probably the first Anthracite that I have ever seen in a GS 300. I didn't do it for that. I could really care the first of anything. Um, I just, uh, I, I, I love the color, it matches the Supra. I can't wait to put these things together and you know, do like a nice photo shoot next to each other. And I have plenty more content of this car that I'm planning on doing for, for the channel. Um, it's gonna be, eventually I'm gonna do the single turbo. It's gonna have a built auto, it's gonna stay automatic. So yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to, to playing around with this one, guys. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, Go ahead and do so. I know there's a lot of you, a lot of uh, the GS guys out there, and uh, plenty more content coming your way, guys. Take care, guys. Peace out.